Hey everyone, welcome back to another food video. What to eat in the Grand Canyon. So this is actually like about 10 minutes away from the actual Grand Canyon National Park. But there's not too many food options around there so everyone comes to this little town to eat. We have a bar over here. So here's the menu. Got some starters. Soup and salad. Sides. So you select two with all entrees. A very small menu. Entree. If you don't know the steak temperatures, what to order, this is a perfect list for you right here. So I got mine medium. I got the filet mignon wrapped in bacon. I must say, this is the most awkward restaurant I've ever been in to film at. It's so quiet, there's literally no music playing. It's like we're in, all in a big giant cafeteria or something. I got the filet mignon wrapped in bacon, so let's see how it is. There's not too many options of places to eat around here, so hopefully this is good. So this is the man, Big E, right here. So that's his story. First up, appetizers. Artichoke dip and garlic bread. Okay, let's see how this tastes. It's actually very good. A lot of flavor in that. Something in it is a little spicy. Appetizer, good. Okay, so the filet mignon wrapped in bacon, six ounce. That's what it looks like. And I got some steak fries, they call these. It's french fries. And I got a loaded baked potato. And sour cream, I guess, and butter. Mm -hmm. So, let's see how it is. That was really good. If this is as good as that, then I'll be pretty happy. Let's go right for the steak. Filet mignon. That's what it looks like inside. Got it medium. good. Let's cut this little piece here. I want to get some bacon in this bite too. The bacon has a little crunch on the end. I like that. Tasty steak. Definitely good. Not bad so far. I'm liking it. It's a big fry here. Very basic fries. Not bad though. Need some salt or something on it. Ketchup. I'll say fries. Thank you. Definitely gotta put some ketchup. I think I'm gonna dip the fries. Need some ketchup. Oh yeah, that. The fry in the artichoke dip. That is good. I love fries in this. Good cut. Let me know if you ever had this place before. If you've been in the Grand Canyon. How about this? Baked potato. Actually, that'll stay warm in the tin foil. Let's finish the steak first. Loaded baked potato. It's really good. Very good. Are we just really hungry right now? Everything tastes so good. If you're around the Grand Canyon looking for something to eat, this is the place, I guess. I wouldn't drive hours for this place but for this little town over here there's not much around it is a great option you may think they would just inflate it with tourist prices because there's nothing around but you're actually kind of getting what it's worth a little overpriced but actually not that bad if you think I about think it's it to, what's to be expected considering you're in the middle of nowhere yeah prices to be expected considering you're in the middle of nowhere, for sure. Your options are like McDonald's, Pizza Hut, so typical fast foods, we want to try something different. There's a few other random ones, but we're like, let's try the steakhouse. Way better than I expected it to be. I thought it was gonna be a typical overpriced tourist place. But you know what? Not bad at all. They show us the dessert options. Wow, they look pretty good. 
Yeah. Apple pie. We got some uh, Bailey's Irish cream cheesecake, which is excellent. Yeah. Chocolate peanut butter mousse, Italian lemon cream cake, apple pie, yeah. and red velvet cheesecake. That all looks good. Okay, so here's everything we got, and the total is $61 for two people. It beat expectations. I thought it was a classic tourist trap, because it's the only place around here. But the service was really good. Overall, it was good, so I recommend it if you're ever here. If you enjoyed this food video, give it a thumbs up, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Good job, Biggie.